Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Tech Titans and Market Tremors, NVIDIA rides high on Goldman Sachs boost, Palantir's Q4 revenue skyrockets amid mixed guidance, Apple Vision Pro shakes up the scene, layoffs sweep tech industry. In other news, Air Products hits a four-year low with disappointing earnings guidance while Tesla battles a tough year yet outvalues major auto giants. Economic warning from Paul Tudor Jones and Alcoa dips as Trump's tariff threats resurface. Lastly, Invitee faces possible bankruptcy in coming weeks. Stay tuned after this short ad break to delve deeper into these headlines. Goldman Sachs continues to strongly recommend buying NVIDIA shares and has increased its price target from $625 to $800. This exceeds the average Wall Street estimate of $679.64. The reason for this is the strong demand seen by the semiconductor giant and servers related to artificial intelligence, as well as an improvement in GPU supply. Analyst Toshiyahari anticipates steady growth until 2025 due to rising expenditure on AI and an expanding customer base. Shares of Palantir Technologies experienced a surge of over 13% following the announcement of their Q4 results, which exceeded expectations. The earnings stood at $0.08 cents per share, generated from a revenue totaling $608.35 million. Notably, there was an impressive growth in U.S. commercial revenue by 70% and an increase in customer count by 55%. Even though the sales projection for the upcoming quarter is lower than anticipated, the full-year estimates remain positive. Despite bearing a substantial cost of $3,500, Apple's Vision Pro has experienced unexpected initial market interest with more than 600 applications created for it. Market analyst Dan Ives forecasts that sales could hit 600,000 units this year and escalate to 1 million by the year 2025. He also projects that upcoming versions will be more budget-friendly and take on the appearance of sunglasses. The technology sector is currently undergoing substantial job reductions, with in excess of 120 businesses eliminating over 32,000 positions within the initial five weeks of 2024. Renowned companies such as Snap, Okta, Zoom and Salesforce have all declared employment reductions. PayPal intends to reduce its staff by 9% as it redirects its attention towards artificial intelligence. In spite of these job cuts, the United States economy welcomed 353,000 new jobs in January. Shares in the industrial gas provider, air products, and chemicals plummeted by 16%, hitting a four-year low at $217.66 following a cut in its profit forecast for 2024. The revised earnings are projected to miss analyst estimates. Additionally, sales have decreased by 5% from the previous year, amounting to $3 billion in the fiscal first quarter. A gloomier-than-expected macroeconomic scenario in Asia was mentioned as a significant contributing factor. On Monday, Tesla experienced a 3.65% decrease in stock value, leading to an overall decline of more than 27% since the start of the year. This downward trend is linked to a variety of factors. One such factor is SAP's choice to exclude Tesla from its list of car suppliers due to inconsistent pricing. Additionally, projections for growth in 2024 have been less than impressive. However, it's worth noting that despite these setbacks, Tesla's market capitalization still surpasses that of General Motors, Honda, and Ford combined. Paul Tudor Jones, a billionaire hedge fund manager, has issued a warning about the current state of the economy. He believes it is unsustainable due to reckless fiscal spending and its conflict with anticipated productivity increases from artificial intelligence. Jones is questioning how to address fiscal deficits and utilize AI for the advantage of all Americans. Despite economic growth, he maintains that we are on an unsustainable trajectory because of a budget deficit between 6 to 7 percent and rapid consumption. Shares of Alcoa experienced a drop of 8.6% as part of a broader sell-off in the metals and mining sector. This occurred in response to President Trump's contemplation on imposing tariffs that could reach or exceed 60% on goods from China, should he be re-elected. 
This situation follows an earlier incident where Alcoa's stock took a significant hit in 2018 when the Trump administration decided to implement tariffs on imported aluminum and steel. Reports suggest that Invitee, a firm specializing in genetic testing, is gearing up for bankruptcy. The company has engaged restructuring advisors to look into strategic alternatives. Currently struggling with a debt of $1.5 billion, Invitee's shares have plummeted by 77%. Despite receiving investment from Japan SoftBank in the previous year, the company's stock has taken an 85% dive over the past year. When asked about these circumstances, Invitee chose not to comment. And that's a wrap on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay invested, stay informed. Until next time, keep aiming for those financial stars. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. It's time for us to say goodbye until we see each other again tomorrow. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.